and come on back down. Careful, please. Take your time. Very good. And then just stand up for a second. Yeah, change this one over. Just want to see what you're Am I right in assuming you feel your chest more after you do that? Or, or you know this more open. breathing, more, more yeah. breathing. You call it open, I wouldn't call it open, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right in assuming you're more aware of uh, the the room coming into you or the light in the room or anything? Are you because you usually go out and look at things. Are you aware that it comes into you anymore? Are you aware that stuff is just coming into you? Um, I have a question. Does that plant make you feel in a particular way? How do you feel about that plant? Mm -hmm. Thanks. And is that feeling different than how he makes you feel? The feeling? That's calmness, I don't know. That's calmer than he is? Is that what you're saying? I'm asking if that plant makes you feel differently than he makes you feel. <clears throat> I just want to know if it makes you feel different. Uh, I guess, yeah. What's the guess part? I mean... I don't know. I guess I don't know. I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> That's just unconscious type, is that it would know. In other words, you're all... In the spiritual world, the spiritual types, their attention, they have feelings inside and their attention goes outside. And then you process your stuff by having your attention outside. In our world, in the physical world, in the thinking world, that's not what we do. The world comes into us. We don't go out. The world just comes in. And then we pay attention to how it makes us feel. And that's how we relate to it. We don't go out. Like, Dawson and I wouldn't be able to tell you what kind of shirt you wore or anything. But we might know some things about how you made us feel. We're not going out. Everything just comes in. So when your type is your balancing type, your unconscious type, his unconscious type is not doing what he's not normally doing where his attention is going outside. Instead, the world just floods. If we kept him in the pose for a while, the world would just start to flood into him. Mm. And then he would know how things made him feel. So that's what we were watching. That's the balancing world. It's an instinctual world, not based on perspective. Not based on the comparative perspective based on an instinct instead of the unconscious. So for each type, for this muscle group to work well, it's based on this muscle group, not this one. Because if you're, if you're strengthening this muscle, this one would have to stretch. So if it doesn't stretch, you can't strengthen this muscle. So the limiting factor for strengthening this muscle isn't this muscle, it's the one on the other side. And if you're stretching this muscle, this one would have to shorten. But that means it has to be flexible enough to shorten. So if I want to stretch this muscle, this one's got to be flexible enough to shorten. So regardless, when you're dealing with this muscle group, the muscle on the other side is the determining factor. And the same is true of the unconscious for the person's personality. So his ability to be ambitious and to do things and everything is really based on not what he's normally doing but on an unconscious behavior that's associated with a particular type. And so that's why when I met James, I said, James, we need to develop the analytical part of you that's associated with devotion and decisiveness and certainty and abundance. And by developing that part, that's what fuels your, his helpfulness and his strategic mind and his zeitgeist that he has as his regular personality. So there's an unconscious source inside of a person for the behavior, your behavior where you naturally have an instinct for integrity and change and transformation. Uh, that's not coming from your type. That, that your type actually presents that as an instinct for that because the finest part of you is fueling that. So if we wanted to develop your traits we have to develop the thymus, and then the thymus will fuel the development of your type. Otherwise, you, you keep trying to do the things you know how to do instead of what the source of that is. That's the interest of the balancing type. That's called a, and there's a balancing type person. There's a balancing person that's the same type as the type inside of you. So there's a woman outside that balances you that's just like the woman inside of you. And in the woman, there's a guy inside of her 
that are exactly the traits that balance her. And that's the source of the person's success. So when I went after the billionaires in Singapore and in um, India, the most successful people <coughs> were the most developed in terms of their balancing type. You're talking about their own balancing type or somebody else? Their, 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 own, right? their own balancing yeah. within themselves yeah. is why they were the most successful. Yeah. Not because of the traits associated with their type. Yeah. So his helpfulness, his strategicness, his zeitgeist does not determine his success. His decisiveness, his um, devotion, his devotion and stuff. That's what determines his success. So the moment I met him, I go, I know what you're thinking, but I'm just letting you know that my intention is to develop your devotion and your decisiveness. And that's, those are muscle groups on the outside of your legs because your muscle groups are associated. So he's different than everybody else because yeah. he's a different kind of, well, we're all different here. So what about, what would you have to develop in somebody like myself or Cole? Or? Well,